public markets are as attractive anymore. If that's the case and private companies decide to stay private for longer or indeed forever, what does that do to a business like yours? Uh, well, uh, the value, the market uh, cap of public companies is actually uh, higher and is growing faster uh, over the last 20 years, yet the number of public companies uh, has shrunk in half. And so generally that wouldn't be a good thing and the, the reason I think it's not a good thing is that there's so many regulatory costs to be being public that you know, if it costs $2 million a year to be a public company and you have $10 million in profits, not sales, $10 million in profits, that's 20% of your earnings, so you really can't go public. So what, what I think it's hurt is uh, small businesses raising money in the public markets. I, I think that's been turned off because it's so expensive. There have been legislation to lower those costs, but they haven't been uh, effective for uh, numerous reasons. And so I think companies have uh, generally been precluded, small companies have precluded, been precluded from raising money in the uh, in, in the public markets and and business formation is is way down and and so those aren't good things I think we need to figure that out uh, the public uh, the private markets only finance certain types of companies you know these are high-flying tech companies and and other companies with certain business models that are attractive to private equity firms but that's not uh, you know Main Street businesses of any kind generally and so uh, you know I think they're being starved a little bit and uh, and you know so I would like to see uh, some kind of solution so that companies can use public markets. I think there's a big advantage to them and private markets are very limited in what they will invest in.